Hello and welcome to LabVIEW Advantage. From today, we're beginning the CLDR preparation videos and solutions. So we'll be beginning with the Certified LabVIEW Developer Recertification Sample Exam Questions and I'll explain to you why the solution is it so. So I hope this will be useful for all the CLDR aspirants as well as the people who want to learn more about LabVIEW and how to code better. So let's begin. Please pause the video and then try to understand the problem and then please resume to know the answer. So let's begin. So the question number one says, consider the following scenario. You must create a control system where a PID calculation determines the value of an analog output based upon an analog input and a double precision set point. Which of the following is the most appropriate mechanism to transfer the set point from your user interface loop to your control loop? So in this case, you are asked to send a double precision set point data from one loop to another. So if you have taken some UNI based training or anything, uh, the data transfer mechanism can be categorized into basically four parts, but in simple form, it can be categorized into three. Uh, there are the tag, message, and streaming. So in this case, we're only considering about the last value. So we don't actually need to send lots of data. So this is a tag-based problem. So if you look into the different options, Q is basically a streaming and messaging. So Q is out of the equation. So option A and D are both incorrect. Now, if you look into option B and C, B functional global variable is a tag-based communication system, but it is saying a logic to hold the maximum value. So this is not actually what we want. So in this case, our answer is going to be C, a global variable, because global variable is going to be used to store the last value. I hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next CLDR question. Please subscribe to this channel and do not forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified for new LabVIEW videos.